Hey guys, this is Jerry Mateo. Welcome back. And today we're going to be taking out a look at Triad Orbit. And uh, Ryan, would you just give us a quick little interview, you know, just telling us what you guys do and then maybe a little demonstration? You bet. You bet. What we do, um, we've gone the other direction. Mike stands over the years have kind of gone uh, downscale, cheaper, lighter. In the same time, microphones are getting more expensive and larger. So there's a contrast there. We saw this coming quite some time ago. And so we went the other way. We built a really solid, heavy duty stand that's a lifetime stand. It's not a disposable stand. And then everything over time are, became a system because everything connects to everything else in every way with our, our patented IO quick change coupler. And so I can show you the basic stand and a few of the setups. And um, from there, just go to our website and everyone gets pretty blown away. Awesome, that sounds great. So uh, is this the basic one? This is our larger of the smaller stands. Obviously we have the Starboard, which is a very large stand. This is called T3. And T3 is a 15 pound stand, solid legs, air loaded shafts, so it can't fall and pop your microphones. The legs do something quite unique because of the weight of the stand. I put my foot right here, and you can see I can articulate that stand into angles. So I could use that as a boomless front line. As a player, I could sit down and play, but also I could put it on stairways, uneven surfaces, and I can also get it around drum kits, around tight areas. I can stack stands next to each other. Um, so the legs are very functional in that sense. Um, it's a slide of the foot and, sorry, stands right back into place again easily. Now the next thing you notice, there's no threads on this. That's because we have eight different heads. So it depends on what you're gonna do that day. If you're shooting video, we've got a head for it. If you get a, your microphone, we've got a head for it. Every head is a hex head. You load your microphones on it and you just walk up and drop it in. Now that will not come out. Unlike every other quick change around, I can miss halfway. I still, it will not come out. Wow, that's really impressive. So just and it just slides off? And it comes right out. So studios like Warner Brothers, every single microphone has this on it. And they save about 20% setup and breakdown time. And no one's dropping microphones anymore because the threading time, oh, go put a 441 over there. Nah, I really like a 421. Nope, walk over, drop it on, drop it on. Now the cool thing is, tomorrow you gotta shoot video. Now, that mic stand's a lighting stand. I put my camera right on here. I got a quarter 20 adapter, and now I can use it as a camera stand. So obviously booms would have to attach that way. So I take a boom, drop it on, locks in, and the booms give you 360 by 180 in every position you possibly could want. Even annoying things like the knobs on that side, I can't reach it, you just move it to that side. It gives you all that functionality. It gives you inline clutches, which are super tight, no knobs to break off. And again, this is called M2 Micro, now at the microphone, I have all the ability to get that mic. And as we all know, as we learned in engineering, you can move a microphone that much and it sounds different. So move the microphone before you grab the EQ and you're gonna have a much better sonic sound in the long run. So we can take that another level. Now I wanna do a piano or a drum kit. Two mics on one stand or two lights and a camera. Two 360 degree rotating ball joints, a crenel that goes 90 degrees straight out, and a crenel that goes 150 degrees across. So let's say I want to do a complicated microphone technique like Blumline. I can turn this sideways, put this in this position, and with the micro, That allows me to get my two diaphragms 90 degrees offset from each other, and I have the figure eight plumb line setup. 
Plus, I can move it all around. Before, when I went to college and learned that, we had to take two mic stands, try to align them up, try to get the heads in the right spot. And then, oh, you know what? We need to move it over there. You had to do it all again. That was a 10 minute setup. This is three seconds and you're done. The beauty of being able to just do a guitar and a vocal in that setup, in a piano, it's fantastic because I turn it back this way. Um, I get the stand right at the right height and I can come into the piano and use a short stick. It's just wonderful what you can do. It's faster, it's easier, it's more accurate, and it actually makes engineering fun again. Yeah, we, uh, we came here yesterday just to check them out, and I was uh, blown away by how you guys actually had this one, I think, up on the wall, yeah, yeah. on the we ceiling. Have clamps, we have wall plates. If you have tight studios, our wall plate allows you to do the same thing. You can just pop this right in on the wall and, uh, and use it any way you want, and then you don't have any stands on the floor. And then one thing I'm noticing, these are really hefty. Yeah. They feel stable. like Very stable. They feel like I can pretty much break my guitar with them. Yep. <laughs> you'll, you'll bust a toe before you knock it over. Yeah. That's cool. And, and I'm digging this, so it's just... You put your foot here. Uh-huh. And slide it. And it's locked. And then pull it back. And it comes back into place. That's really cool. Each leg has four ratchet points. So you can go to about 60 degrees of an angle. That's really so cool. Take a close up on that, watch this latch. And then I just slide it back and it's back into place. Awesome, well, thank you. This is really fun. I, Like I said, when I came here yesterday, I was like, we have to come back. Great. Great. We have to come back. Well, How much do uh, does a basic setup run? Well, it depends. Everything's sold a la carte, but uh, a basic stand, this stand that we're showing here is 219. Now, this is our, our coolest boom. It comes with four arms because the arms come off. So you can have two long arms, two short arms, one long arm, one short arm, no arms. Um, it's 299. And the micro, which is the key to everything, these are $39. Well, they look like they'll last a lifetime, so... It, it's built that way and designed that way. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Great. This has been a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.